Following the 1991-1993 armed conflict in Abkhazia and Tsinhvali region, thousands of persons were forced to flee their homes and became internally displaced in their own country. In 1993, upon the invitation of the government of Georgia, in order to assist affected communities and the state, the UNHCR has launched its humanitarian work in Georgia. Based on the extensive experience on emergencies all over the globe and according to its mandate, UNHCR started provision of emergency relief to IDPs. Having provided the primary emergency and vital assistance throughout Georgia, UNHCR in partnership with the state has started provision of durable solutions to the problems of IDPs. Throughout the years, UNHCR, together with its partners and donors, has built thousands of homes, renovated schools, kindergartens, IDP settlements and collective centers. Through its offices in Gali and Suhumi, UNHCR works on durable solutions to IDP returnees in Gali, including housing and livelihoods. In combination with the provision of durable housing to IDPs, UNHCR has worked and continues to work on the protection of IDPs and advocates for their rights both on Tbilisi administrative territory and in Abkhazia. Up to date, UNHCR actively participates in Geneva international discussions to protect the rights of IDPs. UNHCR always has and continues to apply in its international authority and urges for the protection of rights of its person of concern to draw the attention to existing challenges. Throughout the years, UNHCR has organized visits of numerous high-level delegations and experts to advocate for rights of conflict-affected persons. After the war in Chechnya in 1999, Georgia has hosted 9,000 Chechen refugees from the Russian Federation. With its mandate, UNHCR with the government of Georgia has started provision of protection and integration of Chechen refugees in the host society. UNHCR always stood by the government of Georgia and the IDPs in the most critical situations, like it was after 2008 conflict when thousands of more persons were internally displaced. UNHCR relaunched its humanitarian assistance for the effect population. While providing material assistance, UNHCR took care of protecting rights of IDPs with the support of international community and attracting funds from the donor organizations. Throughout the years, UNHCR actively worked on livelihoods of IDPs. Together with its partners, UNHCR has financed and implemented numerous projects, supporting local farmers through financing agricultural projects. With UNHCR support, the greenhouses were constructed, milk and fruit processing factories were established, baked Bakeries were opened and other various types of small businesses were launched in the western Georgia and Shida-Kartli region. In 2013, installation of barbed wire fences along the dividing line by Russian guards has further impaired freedom of movement of IDPs, access to the residential houses and agriculture lands. In response to the call of Georgian government to pay attention to the rural population along the dividing line, UNHCR and its donor implemented winter assistance program to ensure social protection. Along with the financial assistance UNHCR provided the most vulnerable populations with the firewood and the essential items for the winterization. To assist population affected by the installation of the barbed wire fences, UNHCR together with its partners, both with its own funds and through engagements of donors, rehabilitated the essential infrastructure such as water wells, reservoirs and installed system of drinking water transmission. Kindergartens damaged after the bombardments during the war in 2008 were rehabilitated and and renovated. This allowed hundreds of children along the dividing line to grow up in a new, safe, friendly and healthy environment. During 25 years' presence in Georgia, UNHCR always closely and effectively collaborated with the executive and legislative branches of government that enabled accession to the international legal instruments, improvement of national legislation in compliance with the international standards and elaboration of action plans of the government. One example of such collaboration between the Georgian government and UNHCR is the joint efforts to measure and reduce statelessness in Georgia. As a result of active collaboration of UNHCR, with the government of Georgia, the country acceded to two conventions on statelessness, particularly 1954 Convention relating to the status of stateless person in 2011 and 1961 Convention to the reduction of statelessness in 2014. Respectively, national legislation was improved in accordance with the international standards. In 2015, Georgia has formally joined UNHCR 2014-2024 Global I Belong campaign, which aims 
promise to end statelessness in the world in 10 years. One of the UNHCR beneficiaries has become the face of this campaign. Currently Georgian national, he was showcasing an extraordinary example of combating statelessness and presenting Georgian internationally. UNHCR continues the provision of durable solutions to its persons of concern with regard to the local integration, including sustainable livelihood, socio-economic integration and naturalization. As a result of international conflict, the number of asylum seekers and refugees of various nationalities has increased in Georgia. Access to the international protection is provided, and within its mandate, UNHCR works on the protection of their rights. Through its partners, UNHCR is actively involved in the integration of refugees in Georgia by providing access to the Georgian language classes and vocational trainings, employment and socio-cultural integration. UNHCR draws particular attention to promotion and advocacy for the healthy lifestyle among young IDPs and refugees. UNHCR supports a project of its partner called Football Therapy, in which together with the local youth, IDPs and refugee children are involved. At the same time, UNHCR pays attention to rugby popularization and promotion. To improve conditions of its persons of concern, UNHCR is actively engaged in the capacity-building initiatives targeting different state institutions, judiciary, through organizing conferences, working meetings and trainings. UNHCR has been and will always stay next to the Georgian people and the refugees they host. UNHCR will continue to work on remaining challenges of persons of concern through active engagement with executive, legislative and judicial authorities in Georgia.